In our video on the marketing mix, I identified positioning as arguably the most important of the P's that Jerome McCarthy left out of his original articulation of the marketing mix of four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. So in this video, I want to take a deeper look at positioning. Market positioning is a strategic process. It's all about creating image, an idea, a concept within the minds of your potential customers about your product. You could say that positioning is what you want your customers to think about your product, or at least when you want them to think about it. So positioning is about how we frame our offer within the range of our customers' needs, wants and desires. It's the precise part of the market that your product serves and therefore how it fits into the wider ecosystem of similar products on the market. Because nobody expects a product or a service to do everything and to serve everybody's needs. Positioning is as much about excluding stuff as it is about identifying the core of what the product is. Because what a consumer wants is a product that meets their particular needs extremely well. Let's take a look at some typical examples of big brands and their marketing positioning. Mercedes and Rolex position their products as luxury goods that confer status upon their users. Apple and Toyota position their products as trusted goods of high quality and reliability. McDonald's and Ford position their products as low cost, dependable products that are accessible to everybody. Disney and Coca-Cola position their products as family friendly and fun for everyone. And Google and Pearson position their products as highly reliable sources of information. We can often represent market positioning as a coordinate on a two-dimensional map that charts on the one hand the price of the product and on the other axis the quality. Typically most products will fall on the leading diagonal. That is to say, broadly speaking, we would expect price and quality to correlate with one another. This is partly because it costs more to produce a high quality product and partly because people expect to pay more for a high quality product and therefore even if the cost at source isn't particularly high, the manufacturer, the producer, the seller may choose to increase the price in order to present their product as a high quality product. Once you've determined your target positioning, every decision you make about the product, the place, the price and the promotion needs to support and strengthen that positioning. Let's look at what that means for each of the four domains of the four P's. For product, this means creating a differentiated product with the right balance of functionality, quality and design. Price is about using all of the levers of pricing to put the right impression into the market so that the target customers see it as excellent value to them, but potentially excluding non-target buyers from either being able to afford it or from desiring the product in the first place. Place is about choosing the channels through which to sell your product to make it convenient for your target market to buy them. Ideally, you would expect your product to take pride of place in a channel which contains your leading competitors, but is able to still differentiate itself by having that slightly higher position on the sales floor. And finally, with promotion, every scrap of communication you put out into the market needs to support the positioning to strengthen customers' perceptions 
of where your product is positioned in the marketplace. And there are three steps to creating a positioning strategy for your product. Step one is to assess the competitive market and the strengths and weaknesses and character of your product. Where will your product fit into that market? What is the niche you're going to carve out for it? Where does your product fit into the current marketplace? Who is buying it or who would buy it? Secondly, what market positioning would best match both your current organizational strategy and your desire to optimize your profitability from the product? What are the principal gaps between this target positioning and your current position in the marketplace? And third, you need to develop messaging, branding, placing, pricing, design, and everything else to support the move from your current market position to your target market positioning. And of course, you need to build a plan for how you are going to roll out these changes and how you are going to monitor your progress. Once you have a product ready to go in the marketplace or already in the marketplace, determining and building that market positioning is arguably your most important next step. Please do give us a like if you've learned from this video. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.